I think events like this are, are really important because it gives people like me a chance to, to meet other engineers because working in, in Bristol I, I'm the guy that people come to with their broken amps and I don't necessarily get to um, socialise with, with other engineers. So it's really, really great opportunity for me to, to talk to other people who also work in diff completely different sectors of engineering. Um, but ultimately it's all the same thing. It's all building things, thinking of new ideas and fixing problems. So it's really, really exciting. It feels really great to, to be given an award for doing something that you love doing. So it's just lovely to, to, to come here and uh, be recognised for, for doing the thing that I'm really passionate about. For me, the, the main challenges are working with old technology and figuring out the best ways to, to future-proof them. Because for me, engineering is uh, preventing things from becoming waste in the future. So quite often I'm working with amps that were built in the 60s and 70s and they're still here today and I can fix them and I think that's amazing. And I, I feel that my role is to make sure that I can fix them so that they can live for another 50 years and whenever I design and build something that will also last for 50 years and then can be fixed and can last another 50 years and won't end up being a piece of waste at the bottom of the sea because that's just not good for anyone. I think in order to, to get more people interested in engineering um, it would be a good idea to get rid of the word engineering. For me, I studied music and, and audio technology and didn't do anything about electronics. Whilst I was studying when I was younger, I, had, I, I couldn't relate to it at all. And then after uni, I found myself wanting to, to build stuff. And that's when I learned how to build stuff and design stuff and fix things. And it all came out of me being detached from uh, preconceptions of engineering and maths and science and stuff and just figuring out how to, to do what I wanted to do.